wall air so this part is the wall air next thing is wall heater so that is the below part and this is heater so at the bottommost part of that is here is the now next thing we have selected is a volume rendering now in volume rendering consider first all domains so all domains we are considered is water volume fraction now this is a transparency it is can it can be taken as 0.15 or you can reduce this also so let us suppose if i want to take this as a 0.5 if i want to reduce this to 0.5 so if you apply this uh, you will observe this or you can have increase in this value also so transparency you can reduce like this also so i am keeping again back to um, this value to 0.15 so as to visualize this in a better way so this is regarding to the fluid which is uh, there so bottommost portion we are considered last time it was a water so water will form into a steam and that will the steam will go towards the top so water volume fraction we are taken now resolution you can change this resolution to uh, let's say it is final value i think it is up to 250 so beyond that value you can increase let us say i am keeping it somewhere around 100 then probably uh, you will have a quite better resolution but still uh, we say whenever you are taking this uh, 200 or 100 like that in that cases uh, we say the time required for saving that simulation it will be huge so uh, this is one of the thing which has to be taken into consideration uh, you can go on increasing i think up to 250 also mm. so let us have it 200 so again the resolution here which will go on increasing so quite clear image you will observe if this value is uh, increase now other thing mm, that has to be remember is i think it is the last value it can be up to 250 so i can make it to 250 also so we'll check with the 250 whether it is uh, possible to do or not so it is uh, okay no such error is coming so it will have it at 250 so very good resolution you will get uh, with this particular 250 now next thing is uh, you can uh, want to see this particular animation so here you can consider this particular uh, option and here it is animation so you can Uh, select this much uh, this value you can go on running this and you can save this movie also that is uh, that is also one option which is possible uh, but if the resolutions are quite uh, higher just like we are taken to 100 or 250 so in that cases it takes a lots of time because the fluid which is moving so try to take a resolution which is acceptable level so that you can have the fluid visualization also so it is hardly it is moving now you can observe the fluid which is hardly moving from its position now this is the thing which is we have to remember while performing the post processor of now after performing now this is the iterations which are coming out after 2 lakh so 2 lakh iterations are quite higher value so it takes time uh, it was started 2 3 days before and still it is running so um, Uh, still we say whatever the fluid flow visualization is there it is not up to my expectation so i want again this to run for some more time so this is taking quite time so i will reduce this uh, times uh, say the resolution because it is taking too much of time so i will stop this okay so we are stopping this because it is taking much time for the animation so we'll again uh, change the resolution we'll change the resolution to some acceptable value let us say somewhere around 100 so balance will be maintained between the good resolution as well as you will require less time to run that anim animation so i will again start this from this particular point so you can observe again this is starting from this value the fluid will should go upward so this is again uh, it is quite somewhat better than the earlier case because the fluid is moving so 
so in this case you can observe the fluid is moving up so again you can change uh, if you want to observe this uh, earlier so you can stop again this change the resolution I will change again to 20 or somewhere around 50 so that I can visualize this within short duration of time so again I am keeping as a 20 I will apply this so you can deselect the wireframe also whatever uh, the this particular thing which was visible earlier so you can remove that also so this is the thing which is there the next thing uh, again we have to start uh, if I applied this we should go on to start this animation again now this will uh, proceed with more speed now so this is moving so this is proceeding with more speed right now so uh, even though the resolution is somewhat less still if you want to visualize the fluid flow you can do this particular process now this is regarding uh, to the fluid flow visualization which is taking place in post processor now we'll have the look at the process which was taking place in ANSYS Fluent so here you can slightly change the dimension change the view so you can see the fluid which is moving towards the top so the vapors are actually moving towards the top the bottom force motion is the liquid so this is how the fluid flow takes place in the pulsating heat pipe so this is another view we have taken into consideration so I'm going to stop this uh, animation I will see some later stages uh, of this animation first you need to stop the then go to the later stages because sometimes it hangs up so this is the last now you can observe the fluid flow which has started at the bottom portion so earlier this was not the visible thing again I will go back to the earlier initial states so at the initial states you will not observe at the bottom portion you will not observe, observe anything but if you go to the latter stages let us say at the last stage you will observe the fluid uh, we say the flow has been developed and in that case just a minute you can see this part okay so this much the portion which is actually <coughs> uh, has started to develop so uh, we have this is a water volume fraction this is 1 and 0 so this water volume fraction the stream formation which is taking place so this part of the stream which is shown over here next we will take this particular image now we will go back to some earlier menus uh, now how this is a volume rendering so uh, you can add the volume rendering by clicking this option so once this is clicked uh, you can observe the volume rendering here and then put the dimension uh, put the parameters as per the water volume fraction whether you want to see the water volume fraction whether you want to see the the steam volume fraction so this is a part of CFD post now we'll close this CFD post and we'll go back to the fluent so you cannot open both the things simultaneously because of license problem so again we are coming back to the fluent so I will show you how much iterations are actually performed and still we need more number of iterations as these iterations are not sufficient to have complete fluid flow visualization sometimes it may not be possible to view this kind of simulation in fluent even though the animation is set because of uh, we see the limitations uh, now we'll see here the same part also to few extent only we can observe the fluid flow visualization in ANSYS fluent so this is it takes time okay coming back to this
okay we are back so i'll start this particular okay i will click this parameter so that the things will be visible to us in the animation so okay i will perform some two two three iterations so that it will clearly observe how many iterations we have performed earlier so i have just entered number of time step 10 so based on this it will start again uh, performing the iteration you can say append now see it is already more than 2 lakh iterations are performed uh, still uh, we say the fluid flow visualization is not that much or that is not up to the expectation so in such cases you may go on performing more number of iterations in the, up to the time which you are satisfied with your results so right now this is uh, after performing uh, 2 lakh iterations some kind of fluid flow visualization is possible or visually seen at the bottom portion you can observe also uh, the the fluid edge which is actually developed over there so this is uh, takes time so if you go for the steam portion again we say uh, you might require more numbers of iteration because if you uh, you will not observe anything in the this particular volume production of steam but if you carefully go to the bottom most part you will observe it is started to develop so it can it it will require some more numbers of iteration so that to visualize the fluid flow in contours of volume fraction of a steam so this is what uh, we say up to 2 lakh iteration it is there still more number of iterations will be required so again coming back to so this will come okay so again back to this so we have a 2 lakh iteration which are performed uh, the current number is 0 0.23637 so that is quite less value so it is quite <coughs> it is quite possible to have the complete fluid flow visualization because the current number has not reached some more value so uh, right now it is expected that this will continue to go on calculating without having a problem of current number so uh, so right now this is again coming back to the graphics scales residuals again you can this is for your observation once uh, this iterations are completed we'll go back to to see how the animation is observed in the fluent so in fluent also you can observe the animation but it will be limited to certain extent so we have selected the 10 time steps now it will go on completing with the 10 time steps 72 percent is already completed so this is actually started on 1st of July and it is still taking time so depending on your system configuration it will require time if you are having better system configuration probably the time required will also be less so this is up to right now up to 90% it will just over now and then we will start with the simulation so this is uh, what we have done in the some earlier video and we will have the iteration part today so this is uh, completed up to 100 percent okay so solution okay so you should, you should get some message calculation complete so you can go to this particular window here animation playback so you can see how many numbers of iterations are performed so i uh, will start with the increment that will be somewhere around 5 so i will start this so you can observe the fluid is actually moving up the fluid has started to move up so this is how the fluid flow is actually developed so this was you can observe it is started on july 1st till we say as per the expectation the fluid flow visualization is not there
okay i will stop this i will increase the increment to 10 and let's see what happens so this fluid is actually getting developed that is moving upward so we are taken increment of 10 so it will be quite easy to understand how the fluid is moving up so right now you can observe the fluid is moving up Oh, this is up to 600 700 then fluid is is getting developed and at the topmost portion you will observe uh, this fluid has accumulated in the condenser section so this is how the simulation that you can also observe in fluent so this is just uh, should be taken just for checking and whether you are doing is right or wrong so mostly the simulation part should also uh, should always be considered during the post processing not during the the fluent so this is for checking what you have done so i think it will require some more number of iterations maybe uh, we can have one more one lakh iterations and then probably we could see uh, the fluid uh, fluid is actually developed in the um, contours of volume fraction of steam as well as contours of volume fraction of water okay so that's it